I am waiting for my family to read with me. It's after nine o'clock. My son is doing homework. My daughter is in the shower. My wife is soon to get in the shower. Me too. I have to. And my son is waiting to get in the shower. All right. So what do I learn when I go to the Jehovah's Witnesses meetings? Here it says, Brother F said. Be intentional. All right. Another thing that I'll add to it is when you speak to someone, speak from your heart to their heart. This means do not lie to that person. Do not poke fun at them. Do not... Do not play games. Do not. But what type of life is that without any fun? Do not trick them. Well, my son, the reason that I am very direct with you, are you going to feed the dog or not? Yeah, you will. Is because I don't want to spank you every day. That's one reason. Or your sister, you know? Bible says do not fathers do not be irritating your children. Mm-hmm. However, if you want to persuade somebody to do something, then I got to become just like my own grandfather. He was a very cold man. How dare you look at That's the type of uh, person he was. He would not speak unless he absolutely had to speak. Wow. I told you the story of how your uncle was too far away from the house. Yeah. And grandpa said, come here. And of course, my, my brother didn't listen. That was the only time I saw my grandfather run. He grabbed a machete, and not at my brother, and he ran that way. Chopped it, picked it up, and said, when I call you. Chopped what? Chopped the snake. Come to me. And then he said, it was going towards you. However, why was he cold? One of my, I wasn't legally married to this young lady, but I met her father, so I I could call him my father-in-law in in a way. And he spoke very little. My girlfriend explained to me that he had been kicked out of his own house, thrown out by his mother, maybe his father, maybe he didn't have a father, I don't know. By his own family when he was only 14 years old. He stole something? No. They didn't have the money to feed him. They did that to him in Panama. Whereas at the same time, they kept his his sister. I don't know if she was younger or older. I need two more words. Is that fair? What? It's fair to be throwing you out at 14 years old? So he became a very serious man. But the, what did he do? Because he, he said, they said, go get a job. We can't afford for you. Is that what they did? No, they just threw him out because they don't have money to feed him oh, food, food for him. Food for exactly. him. So go get a job for you to provide your family and provide yourself. Okay. Yes. Um, what else was going to happen? It's night, daddy. Take a shower. I know. Your own great grandfather, my grandfather, my mother's dad, he was half Honduran, half El, from El Salvador. Yeah. I believe his father was from El Salvador and his mother from Honduran, Honduras. He was born in Honduras, I believe. However, perhaps 
when somebody died, he was the next one to receive the property. And his own relatives in El Salvador, you know what they did? What? They declared him legally dead. <laughs> Why? Now they don't have to give him the property. It goes to the next Oh, that, person. Oh, that is just like in a book I read. They declared him dead, kidnapped him. Mm-hmm. Because he has superpowers. Kidnapped him, tried to kidnap his friends, some of whom he did, did. They escaped, they joined, they escaped, then joined each other. They were like, oh, somewhere in the hotel. Fought the bad guy. Extin well, didn't extinguish him. They had a friend take care of him. That's all it said. This caused your great grandpa to be a very serious and a very strict man. Another thing that happened in his life was that he was only allowed to play outside at night. So he would love the moon. Oh. What happened to him was he was kidnapped from, from his mother by his father. Do you understand? Yes. And then what happened? What? His mother went to get him. She sent some men to go get him. When you, when you have money in the, in the property, you know, these... These uh, people, they hire, they hire some strange people or strange men to do whatever you want. I don't know why he was not allowed to play in the daytime, uh, outside, only at night. Then he became a sad man eventually when he got older. I don't know exactly when his mother died, but guess what day she died? What day? Christmas. <laughs> so so every, Christmas wasn't really... Uh, it wasn't fun with him. Every single Christmas, he would just sit in his chair. I do remember one Christmas when I was little, he bought me a helicopter made out of plastic with little men probably soldiers it was yellow and he nobody wrapped Christmas presents in Honduras what they did was he put it behind the chair and said go look for it go look for it there's a toy there's a toy mm -hmm. and so of course I found it because it was just you know look behind that chair there <laughs> What I wanted to do with my family was have a small Christmas tree. One that was one foot tall, 12 inches tall. What? Yeah, one foot or 12 inches. I'm done. Okay, venga a sentarse en la cama a acordar a las niñas porque yo no ya no puedo estar más tiempo para. While you No, vaya a bañarse. Take, do, do what she wants. Take your shower and then come back. No, All right. Anna, look at his pants, Anna. Look at his pants, Anna. Why don't you clip my nails while I'm here? Anna, look at his pants. Can you fix them? Make them Don't better? Get, I'll get well, you're the whole thing in the No, but he should wear clothing that fits him very well. Get Alexandra's mother to... No. 
to help you. Or Ada's sister. Or Margarita. Ada? Your grandmother might be able to do it too. I think your sister can also do it. 